Deputy Prime Minister Branko Grčić commented yesterday on the fact that Standard & Poor's has maintained Croatia's double B sovereign credit rating, saying that it indicated that some progress had been made. He added, however, that Croatia still faced the challenge of fiscal consolidation. <laughs> Transportation Minister Sinisha Haider Doncic addressed on Saturday plans to lease Croatia's highways. The minister pointed out that if this plan does go through, it will be the largest investment in Croatia's history, with a very extensive multi-layered and complex concession contract. While some popular holiday spots along the coast are not doing as well as expected this July due to the unstable weather, the Plitvica National Park is doing quite well with more and more visitors coming each year. For the camping, I think it's on average. It's an average price. It's okay. It's uh, good to do. It's, I think the, the groceries and the, the shopping, is, it, that's, um, that's not so expensive here in Croatia for us from Holland. Local vendors say they are seeing plenty of visitors, however guests are spending less on average. The village of Betina on the island of Murter is best known for wooden boats, which have been crafted by local shipbuilders for hundreds of years. Those who are still making the Leut and Galleta models today say that despite the application of new technologies, some traditional tools are still indispensable. Local authorities have plans to showcase Betina's shipbuilding tradition by opening a wooden boat museum next summer. The Motovun Film Festival opened last night in the hilltop town's main square. The forecast caused some headaches for the organizers, which resulted in an improvised dancing in the rain number. Taking the lead in the swing of things was President Ivo Josipovic. In sports, rain forced the Croatia Open in Umag to postpone its semi-final matches until today. Croatia's Marin Cilic was defeated by Spaniard Tommy Robrido, 6-7-3-6. In the other semi-final, Pablo Suevas of Uruguay defeated Italian Fabio Fonini, 6-3-6-4. In Croatian First League football action, Slaven Belupo defeated Zagreb 3-2 in Koprivnica on Saturday, while Zadar beat Osijek 2-1 at home. Rijeka and Hajduk clashed tonight in Rijeka. Split and Istra will finish up this round of play on Monday. Unstable weather and rain and thunder showers are expected today. There may be some heavy downpours, especially along the coast. A mild to moderate southeasterly on the coast, high in the far south. The central seaboard will see winds turn to a north-northeasterly direction later in the day. Northeasterly winds in the north. Temperature highs will range from 23 to 28 degrees Celsius. More unstable weather is expected next week with occasional rain and thunder showers. Temperatures will remain relatively high. On the coast, expect showers and flash storms, especially in the north. There is a chance of heavier downpours on Tuesday afternoon and on Wednesday.